Every Sunday when I go to church, I want to go there when we finish. And I don't have anywhere to go when we finish because everybody's gone. Everybody in my family is gone. You know, we loved each other in our own way. But I didn't realize until after what I really had. You said, ain't you heard? The hurricanes changed course. They're coming right up the river. 1,800 people died. That was documented. You could hear a pin drop in the daytime. No birds, no nothing. This is New Orleans. Ain't nothing like New Orleans. And we love music. It was a blessing to come home and watch people come to the little bars at night, hear us playing. I felt the responsibility to come back and take care of it. We offer primary care to help musicians who never have insurance. They work 80, 90 hours a week rehearsing and gigging, and that takes a wear and tear on their body. They're telling me they don't want me to work for as many nights a week as I'm working right now. This is why it's hard to pay bills. I've been eating all kind of crazy things. You know, you're on the road, you, you have to go and eat it. All of those musicians had health problems, whether it was physical or whether it was mental or emotional, and the clinic was there for them. They saved my life four or five times. The Musicians Clinic is struggling a bit right now financially. The grant that we had will not be renewed. Negligence and ignorance. Ignorance because you don't know what you've got. We're not criminals. We're not the ones that's destroying this city. As we marched through the courts of the Iberville projects, we paid attention to the older brothers. I know I learned a lot. Following them for miles and miles into the music. It stopped. Without our traditions, we are nothing.